Welcome to musicmoveit.com and today we are going to talk about making sure that you file your taxes when you are making money as a band or an artist or a musician. Yes, the dreaded thing called taxes. You must file them if you are a working band, artist, musician, or what have you. Especially if you own your own label. Or if you're just your own label, like you yourself are the indie artist. And it's just you, but it's, you're technically a label then. So, when you need to start paying taxes, is obviously you need to be a business and making some money so obviously if you're a business you're going to be filed with your state as a business whether it's uh getting being an llc which is a limited liability corporation which a lot of bands do some people just go all the way and become a corporation which is a little more money but it has some benefits as well i have a whole other video for that and or some just do as a sole proprietor like if you're just a, a hip-hop artist by yourself or if you're just maybe you'll have a couple people that work with you and you pay them here and there things like that or if you're just um you know like a, a pop rock guy that just plays a guitar you're pretty much by yourself the whole time you could do a sole proprietor and you would be doing business as your business name so you got to be filed obviously and you will, when you start making money, whether it be through ASCAP or BMI or CSAC or whether it be through PayPal, like say you're selling CDs on your website and people pay you through PayPal, or whether it be your distributor, like a CD baby, a digital distributor that sells your music for you, or um, The Orchard, that's another distributor. Um, if you do that, and if you make a certain amount, you have to file those taxes and these places will send you what is called a 1099 that means that you they paid you money but you, you basically don't work for them but they do pay you money for cd sales or whatnot and you have to file taxes if you make i believe it's 500 or over so some i think every place generally will still send you a 1099 even if you made under that but i don't think you necessarily have to file if you only made like 80 bucks <laughs> But if you made 500 above, I believe it's that, you have to file your taxes or it could come back to haunt you. Now, hopefully, some of you are making well above that $500 and you know about all this stuff already and you do file, file your taxes and that's great. But for those who are still becoming artists and starting to make some real money now, please file your taxes. Don't be an idiot. Just do it. That will come back to haunt you. Especially if you start getting bigger and bigger and you start having commas in your money, uh, it could come back on you. So file those taxes. But there are benefits of being a business. And that is you can write stuff off because you are a business. So that means you can write off musical equipment, studio equipment, any kind of promotion you do. If you buy business cards, you could write that off at the end of the year. If you place an ad for your album online somewhere, you can write that off. You can write off traveling expenses. You go to, say there's an artist showcase and you gotta drive two states away. Keep track of your mileage and all that good stuff because you can write that off. Uh, traveling expenses, doing shows, live shows out of state, things like that. All this kind of stuff you can write off. The IRS says you can write it off as long as it's basically a normal and necessary thing. So obviously you can't write crazy stuff off like oh I, you know i needed a house full of furniture you know they're gonna be like that has nothing to do with music so it's got to be something necessary towards your business that you need i think even stuff like a new laptop and if you need stuff like that but you got to be able to prove it's for business use they're real sticklers as they say on what like the the line between personal use and business use so if you ever get audited and say you wrote off a laptop They'll want proof that it's just for business. So if there's freaking Doom and all kinds of video games and uh, all this other crazy stuff on your laptop, they're going to know it's for personal use. So 
So things like that, in case you get audited, try to separate the items so it's not for personal use, but it's just strictly business. Because I've heard some horror stories of people getting audited and they just weren't prepared, things like that. Keep track of everything. Keep track of every receipt. Get a folder, get a filing cabinet or something and have a folder that you could keep receipts in so you could go back at the end of the year and look and be like, okay, I paid for this advertisement, blah, blah, blah. I bought this thing that's towards the business. You'll have all that stuff right there and, if, and save it. Once you file, put it away, you know, business receipts 2016, put it in a file cabinet or something similar. And if you get audited, you'll have all your proof right there. Boom, done. Be on top of that stuff. Keep track of all the stuff you spent money on. All receipts. It's important. Keep track of your mileage in your car, gas receipts, all that good stuff. Like, obviously, if you used it to take trips for your business, which is obviously music. So, but yes, I just wanted to drill that in your heads. If you start making some real money, I'm talking $500 plus a year, which I hope to God you will file your taxes. Don't wait until it's too late because you might get really big and the IRS will come calling, knocking on your door and they'll want you to pay taxes for prior years with fees. Basically, that you missed. They'll, they'll tax your ass. So please do it, okay? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I got tons of new important subjects to talk about that a lot of people might not even think about to help your music career and that's what we're here for we want to do that you can do it i believe in you for real so please thumbs up subscribe leave a comment things like that i love it more videos to come see you next time thanks for watching my videos and i wanted to tell you about a few things i'm going to leave some links in the description below so make sure you take advantage of them I want you to check out and download our ebook it's a step-by-step -step guide to release your own music from start to finish check out the link below it's called release your own music a step-by-step -step guide download that today also Django radio it's a streaming service like a Pandora and they're doing a special offer with me where they're giving artists and bands 100 spins on their streaming station you just got to click the link below you can only use this link to get that offer, and you must be a new Django user. It's an excellent opportunity to get your music out there to more people. Check it out, click the links, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.